The scale of the economic impact of New Plymouth's water crisis is beginning to hit home. Dozens of small businesses are smarting after losing trade when their water supply was cut off for up to four days. And at least one international food exporter was still out of action. This morning, our Taranaki Whanganui reporter, Robin Martin, has more. Van Dyke Fine Foods is best known for Marcel's pancakes. From its base in the Bell Block Industrial Estate on the fringes of New Plymouth, the company exports the Belgian-style delicacy throughout Asia and to the Middle East. Today, its head engineer, George Dixon, has been tackling an unusual task, disconnecting the factory from the town's water supply. George, so where's that coming from and heading to? Okay, so we've got a 29,000 litre tank on site that we're, sucking, we're going to be sucking it out of and we're going to introduce it into our main water supply into our factory, um, bypassing the town supply, giving us nice, clean, portable water. Mr Dixon explains water is a vital ingredient at Van Dyke's. So we use all our water all for our batters, mixes and cleaning, so we need a high grade of water for that because we don't want any contaminants of course. And yeah. Town supply is not meeting the grade at the moment? Not at the moment, no. Hopefully within the week they'll have it all sorted and we'll be back to where we should be. The chief executive, Natalie Innes, says Van Dyke's shut on Wednesday and put its 26 staff on light duties or sent them home. Ms Innes says the disruption has been costly, but she's confident insurance will cover it. Three or four days without production, so yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult for us. We're going to have to do a bit of overtime to catch up. Are you able to put a, a dollar figure on it in, in general terms? Uh, I'd say definitely tens of thousands, possibly getting into the hundreds. Near neighbour Teagle processes about 20% of the country's poultry at its Bell Block plant, where it employs about 1,000 people. The company says the fallen tree, which crippled New Plymouth's water supply, is an unprecedented event for Teagle. It closed for two days and is now using water tankers and adding chlorine to the town supply to stay operational. And it's not just big companies that are suffering. The owner of the Eden Cafe in Bell Block, Satish Kumar, says there was initially confusion about whether or not he could run his coffee machine. But eventually, he had no running water and had no option but to close. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the big weekend business we really lose. Uh, have you any idea of how much it cost, cost you? It's around three to five thousand dollar total loss. Mr. Kumar is talking with his insurers. A few doors down, the owner of Sheer Bliss Hair and Body, Nadia Farmer, says they could only offer dry cuts. I myself couldn't work because I had mainly colours in, so I had to shift all my clients to other days. Do you have any idea of you know, what your turnover was down? It would, it would be in the thousands, yeah. At the Naki Butcher in Waitara, Chloe Northcott says no water meant no new business. And if that wasn't bad enough, after being closed for two days, the young butcher drew the short straw when they opened today. This morning I had to do, come in and do a big clean up because we ran out of water last week. <laughs> That's, that's not pleasant. <laughs> so what did that involve? Hosing everything down, sandy foaming, which is like a um, chemical that we use that breaks down everything and just makes it easier to scrub it and, yeah, hot watering everything. Spare a thought also for New Plymouth local Brent Asquith, who had timed the opening of his car wash business to coincide with a classic car festival. Yeah, we were closed from Wednesday morning through till Saturday evening um, under instruction from Civil Defence. So we were aiming to get up and running for Americana. You know, that was one of our, like the major event of the year for us. It was just, yeah, highly disappointing that Exciclone Geeta came through and put a, put a hold on things. Mr Asquith says he had no water at home, so was happy to comply. The New Plymouth District Council says it is working closely with businesses and apologises for any inconvenience or confusion caused by the water outage. It says the boil water notice is likely to remain in place for a week. Itaranaki, Motihotaka, Uti Ahiahi, Ko Robin Martin Aho.